Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry about that lighting stuff. I was thinking, I'm a vlogger, right? I'm a gaming YouTuber. I'm a person that makes music. I thought to make tutorials as well on music. So this first tutorial is going to be one by Alan Walker, Faded as well. Right, so the first thing is the strings. They're going different ways. Six. Sit, uh, one, two, three, four, this one, so what, this one's broke off, but that's the lowest one is one, two, three, four, five, and the top one is six, and there's one with letters E, B, G, D, a and E. There's two E's. There's a high E and a low E. But anyway, I'm going to be playing Faded. It's mainly, well, on the guitar one. Well, well that's how I've played it. On the lowest one, but I'll be playing it on the B string. Because, you know, it's broke off. Can't play it. But the first fret you want to do is the second fret, which is. Fifth fret, tenth, eight, back down to six fret, and then one. So, so fret two. Six, ten, eight, six, one. So two, six. Actually, no, it's eleven. So two. You want to pluck it three times. So, and then the sixth fret, only once. And then go to the 11th fret, three times again. Down two, which is down to the 9th fret, once. Down to the 6th, but this time three. Now there's two ways you can do this, you can go. To the first one. But when you end in the song, you can go to second. So that so so if you're not gonna win the song, it's gonna be like this. So threat two, three times. Threat six once. Threat eleven, three times. Threat nine, once. Threat six, three times this time. And then first fret three times. So it sounds like this. And then hold that again, but when you come to the sixth fret to th for the second time, where you go, you press the second one. This is when you're ending it. And then three on the first one. So bottom one, I'll run through it again three times. Sixth fret. 11th fret, 9th, 6, 1, 1, uh, 2, 6, uh, what's 1, 9, uh, 11th, 9, 6, 2, 1. So there you go, that's faded for you guys. I know it's been a bit, you know, complicated. But yeah, there's another way you can play it, basically. On this acoustic, I find it easier just to go strum it downwards, but uh, basically, you use two fingers, like so, 
and you just use the exact same frets so like this is the second fret So basically all you're doing is adding another one. Um, this is best used on the second and third or the B string and the G string, B and G. And basically what you do is you do it like this. You so you kinda grab your two fingers and then squeeze the strings together and pull. But you do whatever's easier because you can always drum down on the two. Don't forget to not hit the last one, otherwise it won't sound as great, but unless you want to, then you know. I can't say you can't. But yeah, it sounds like this. I'll talk with my thing, but yeah, um, yeah. So that that's how you do it. Like I said, just drum. That that can be easy on the acoustic, but I find it easier on the electric guitar to pinch them together and do that. So you know, pinch them together, squeeze them together, and then pull. So. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you out wanting to know how to play faded and a cooler way as well. So anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. Anyway guys, you know what time it is. Peace out. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye bye. Why is it not turn yeah?